Hi, you're watching Parents TV. I'm Liz Zack, the executive editor of Parents.com. Before babies can talk, it can be hard to tell if they're sick. Joining us today is Dr. J.J. Levenstein, who's going to help us figure out what to look for. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Liz. Um, when your baby's too young to say, my tummy hurts, it's hard to tell when they're not feeling well. Um, but there are some telltale signs that uh, let parents know when it's time to call a doctor. So let's talk about some of those. The first is excessive irritability. Um, babies cry. So how do you know what's too much? I think babies cry, especially in the infancy period, most of the day when they're hungry, cold, for any of their basic needs. But when a baby cries excessively 24-7, can't be consoled, uh, no matter what, with a dry diaper, with feeding, with cuddling, uh, we, something's usually up. Something is making the baby uncomfortable, and it's a sign of stress. And so that's something that should be paid attention to. So crying is still normal. Yes. It's just when it becomes excessive and all the time, you should start to worry. 24-7 crying, especially with behaviors like arching or grimacing, they certainly indicate that a baby may be uncomfortable. It's a reason to call your doctor. Great. Not eating can also be another warning sign. What's normal? Well, a baby's brain, for example, grows about 200% the first year of life. So wow. that drives a tremendous appetite. So babies are feeding machines. And when they stop feeding or they decrease their feeding dramatically, something is again up. It may be something as simple as thrush in the mouth. Right. It may be something as complex as a metabolic disease. But when they shut down and stop eating, that's a sign to be concerned. Right. What about, talking about eating, what about when babies eat a lot but still lose weight? That is definitely a red flag. Um, uh, Generally, breast milk or formula will have enough caloric uh, uh, aptitude to cause a baby to gain weight. And if a baby is gobbling up feeds and yet losing weight, then that's a sign that some, something is probably amiss and should, again, be brought to, Talk to your doctor's doctor. attention. Right. Exactly. A change in wet diapers, that also can mean that there's something up, right? Yeah. Babies are peeing and pooping machines. There's no doubt about it, much like they're eating. So the more they eat, the more they create down below. Right. But if diaper production dramatically drops off, especially with urination, that could be a sign of dehydration or insufficient fluid intake. On the other hand, if a baby is sick, for example, with vomiting and diarrhea, and they are excessively urinating during right. that time, that doesn't make sense. The body should be retaining those fluids. So uh, when that happens, that's also one of the things to look out, uh, for. Look out for. Exactly. The one exception, though, is that babies can poop once every couple days, and that's fine, right? Sure, sure. Even even as infrequently as a week, especially um, in breastfed babies, uh, right. they are so efficient in their absorption of breast milk that they may produce only one stool every seven or eight days. And as long as it's soft and it's not hard and nugget-like, we don't consider that constipation. They're fine. They're not uncomfortable. Not at all. Okay. Um, jaundice isn't a problem at first, but when should you start to worry about it? I think if deep jaundice, where a baby looks like a little pumpkin from head to toe, persists for longer than a week, mm -hmm. uh, or if it's accompanied by some listlessness, some uh, unwillingness to feed, right. or a baby who's hard to awaken, those are those are certainly worrisome, worrisome signs. Also, prolonged jaundice over a month uh, can be associated with something as simple as breastfeeding and not dangerous, but can, in rare instances, also point to infection. Right. or to liver disease as a problem. Now, you mentioned looking like a pumpkin. Can you describe what, what jaundice looks like a little bit? Uh, if you were to imagine that the, the flesh tones or the peachy tones on a peach, that is that is the color that a baby would normally have in the mm -hmm. first few days following birth. However, there's a deeper color, almost a yellow, true, almost glow-in-the-dark color mm. that a baby may have from head to toe, and usually with associated signs of some listlessness uh, or irritability um, when it points to uh, illness or infection. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another warning sign is inactivity. Exactly. Babies sleep. Mm -hmm. So how can they sleep a lot? Yes, they do. So how can you tell the difference between what's normal and what is something to bring to your doctor's attention? In the early newborn period, babies sleep anywhere from 16 to 20 hours. We pray for that sleep. Right. <laughs> At times, those are the good days. Yeah. Right. And, in, and in their awake times, they're active. They're moving all their extremities. They have some baseline level of, of movement. However, if a baby just lays there draped like a dish towel over your arm, has a weak cry, right. doesn't lift their head up, doesn't have some spontaneous vigor to their, their muscle movement, those are signs that a baby, again, may be either um, infected or have a metabolic condition that that's causing them to be weak or underfed. I mean, there's a whole long list of things that it could be associated with that. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, babies can't talk, but they can still communicate, and they can mm -hmm. still also act like they're in pain. What, what should you look for when you when you suspect that? Well, getting back to the 24-7 crying right. uh, with, with irritability, inability to console. Facial grimacing can occur mm -hmm. even as early as the newborn period. And so little babies who have a furrowed brow, we call it a Darwin's crease,
piece and it's there all the time arching off the breast arching off of a bottle just really really not happy no moments of contentment those are absolute red flags that your baby is asking you for help and as a mom you'll be able to tell absolutely what's normal for your baby right? generally I those moms the key yeah generally those moms will march into our office with babies something's out like to say take my baby something's right, wrong right. <laughs> um, what else about how they look anything else in terms of skin coloring I think even paleness or we call it pallor uh, is certainly a sign that uh, um, something may be amiss most babies are very red very pink in the first six to eight weeks of life because we donate so many blood cells over the placenta right however in the first few weeks of life if suddenly they become pale if they are sweaty if they uh, are clammy those are signs that they may have heart disease or maybe uh, uh, anemic right um, at two months of age there's a natural pallor or a natural anemia that occurs that's called physiologic and then pinkness returns by four months but if a baby continues to be pale that's when you should be worried yes, yes. last question sure throwing up throwing babies up. spit up all the time mm -hmm. when is throwing up and when is it too much well all babies I would say well categorically 90 percent of babies will have some element of reflux and reflux means that food from the stomach comes back up to the esophagus to varying levels and spitting up small amounts but gaining weight and thriving and being happy between feeds that's the key is a sign of a normal right. baby with reflux one who has symptomatic reflux or is throwing up across the room projectile vomiting feed after feed after feed that could be a worrisome sign if there's irritability or lack of weight gain or a lot of respiratory disease attached with throwing up. Those are signs of worry. Gotcha. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been wonderful to have you here. I know I'm relieved as a mom. Uh, <laughs> thanks for joining us. And thanks for watching Parents TV, your source for the best information for your growing family. Thank you for watching Parents TV, our families, our lives.